Here's the Edutage ETM-001. In this video, I'm going to do an audio test using the camera I'm shooting on right now, which is a Sony ZV-1. I'm gonna test this microphone and I'm gonna compare it to the Olympus ME-52W. This is a noise canceling microphone, uh, camera microphone. It's similar in size, but completely different use, or it could be a different use. It's uh, the Olympus is a mono uh, unidirectional and it rotates 90 degrees. It also comes with uh, an extension cable, but the edutage is just comes with this piece uh, plus a little foam windscreen. I believe there is a fuzzy that you can get as an accessory and also a lavalier connection, which you can get as an accessory. But out of the box for around $30, you just get this microphone. It's very small, it looks like a tack, and if I compare it to just a regular SD card, here's a normal sized SD card, and look at the size to that microphone. Incredibly tiny. From what I've read online, the Edutage is very sensitive microphone and will increase the sensitivity and the strength of your audio signal to your regular camcorders. I've seen these used on GoPros and action cameras. So now I'm gonna test it on here. So I'm also gonna compare this to uh, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, the granddaddy of all external camcorder microphones. And I'll, so I'll compare these three uh, microphones using this camera. Now I have to shut this camera off every time I plug in a microphone because if you didn't know, the current firmware of the ZV-1, the uh, every time you plug in an external audio microphone, it doesn't accept it. So I have to stop the camera, plug in the microphone, and then start it again. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have the Edutage connected to this cable here. It's just a standard 3.5 millimeter extension cable. And I'm plugging this directly into the camera. I had to dial down the audio, but I still think it's clipping. So I'm gonna go into my audio settings right now and I'm going to bring it down. Uh, I'm gonna bring it down, coming down, coming down to a, f wow. I have it at a level four. Okay, so now uh, it still might be a little hot, but I have the audio at a level four uh, on the ZV-1. When I was recording just with the camera audio, I had it on a level 22. So I went from a 22 to a level four, and I could even go lower than this. So um, this is an omnidirectional microphone, which means it's picking up audio all around the mic. You don't necessarily have to point it at you like you do for a unidirectional. You can just have this plugged in and what I'm going to use it for is say you have here's just a regular uh, uh, Canon EOS R that people might have and you can just take the tip uh, the small end of it and plug it directly into the side and it just sticks out like so and you can just go around and have better onboard audio than the built-in microphones that are on the camera. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, I'm not, I don't have a headphone jack, so I'm not really sure how, what this sounds like. I'm gonna bring this microphone closer to my mouth. So it'll be, uh, it should pick up better. So right now I have the microphone. At the same distance, I had the camera microphone uh, from my mouth, which is uh, maybe six inches. So now you're hearing it, the omnidirectional, I'm just, I'm actually moving the, the microphone around so that you can hear if it's, there's any off access or rejection, there shouldn't be. You might hear some handling noise from me holding the cable. I'm trying not to really go crazy with it, but that's what it sounds like. Here's the camera audio again. Uh, this is what the camera audio sounds like. And I, uh, I it's at level four and I'm speaking fairly loudly right into the microphones on the ZV-1. I'm gonna plug in the edutage and see how that sounds with this plug directly in, and I'm not gonna change the levels. What you're hearing now is the edutage plugged directly into my ZV-1 from 
the just the 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 piece itself not there's no extension cable it, it's just like the one piece plugged directly into the side of the audio input and it's six inches from my mouth right now earlier i was doing same levels a level four and uh, i was talking pretty loudly but i was i was really close to the uh, camera microphone here i'm not so close but i believe the bass you can hear more of the bass in my voice rather than it sounding thinner than it did on the onboard microphones. That's what the main thing is. And, and also just the sensitivity, it's really loud. So now I'm gonna plug in the um, Olympus ME52W. And I'm not gonna adjust the audio uh, levels. I'm gonna leave it at level four, just so that you can see here uh, uh, how much more sensitive the uh, edu edutage is. This is the Olympus ME52W, and you you might only be hearing the audio on one side. If you have a stereo uh, microphone, uh, stereo speakers, or you're listening in headphones, you might be hearing it on one. You should be hearing it on one side because this is a mono microphone, and mono when you plug it in, it's only on channel one. This is what it sounds like. I haven't adjusted the audio the manual audio levels i'm trying to speak at the same level i was before and i'm pointing the microphone at my mouth what i'm going to do is go closer go as close as i pointed the uh, edutage at, at my mouth here it goes all right so now you're i'm pointing the olympus me 52w six less than six inches uh, in my mouth, just like you would po uh, position a lav microphone if I were to clip this on me. This is what it sounds like. I'm trying not to handle the, the wire at all, uh, but you might hear some handling noise. And this is what a mono mic sounds like, uh, Olympus ME52W. I'm going to go back here. And one of the benefits of this system is that it's cheap it's twenty dollars this whole thing is twenty dollars there is a windscreen but i've had this for over eight years and the windscreen disintegrated but uh, the microphone still works and you could detach the mic from the lav lear uh, connection the extension and this works for a lot of lot of cameras, a lot of audio recorders. You know, before I unplug it, I'm going to do some off-axis rejection to see to give you an idea of what it sounds like when the microphone is pointed away from me, pointed directly down. So it should, since it's, I believe it's not omnidirectional, you should hear a difference in sound. And now I'm going to be pointing it right back at me. Okay, great. I am going to plug in the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus now. Here's the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I'm pointing it at my mouth now, uh, and I have it set to a neutral setting. I have not increased the manual dial, audio dial, on the ZV-1. It's still at number four. And this microphone is pointed directly at me. It's a shotgun microphone, and as you know, with a shotgun microphone, it is a directional microphone. So as I'm pointing the microphone away from me, it should be more muffled. You should hear a different quality in the sound. You might be hearing handling noise as I'm messing with the microphone itself. And now I'm pointing it right back towards me here. So with a shotgun microphone, the benefit of this, as opposed to the omnidirectional and the unidirectional smaller piece right here the uh, with the Olympus, is you can have this further away from your uh, your mouth or further away from your subject and get good audio and get good directional audio and cancel out all noise around the microphone, which I'm hoping it's doing right now. And the benefit of this microphone, or one of the benefits is that it has a detachable battery. You can have a, a windscreen purchased separately. It doesn't come with it and to, if you're in a windy environment. And then in the back here, I know I'm sounding a little muffled now, you can adjust the dBs, a negative gain or positive gain, and you could add a, a cutoff filter, a roll-off filter. So say you're in a real, you're at the beach, and it's very bassy with all the wind. Using that cutoff filter will will take all the low end out. So this is what it sounds like with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. 
it's significantly more expensive than these two at over $200. Maybe it's around $220 right now. It might not be a fair comparison, but I'm just giving you uh, an example of how good the edutage sounds at $30. That was the microphone test of all three of these mics. I am now speaking with the onboard micro ca camera microphone. I think the edutage is a really good buy if you're looking for something very small and you need to up the, the, the sensitivity of the microphone. If I'm outdoors, I, I might purchase the uh, the wind wind screen, the wind uh, dead cat, so to add more suppression. But this this seems like a good deal. It seems like all the reviews are accurate. This is a very good microphone. I'm gonna be using this on all my reviews now going forward, plugging this directly into the ZV-1. Uh, and you know, it's exactly, as advertised. Highly recommend the Udijij ETM-001.